So, um, you just got a new EV. The range is great, the acceleration is instant, and you never have to visit a gas station again. It feels like the future. But, uh, think your EV battery lasts forever? Think again. There's a ton of misinformation out there about how to take care of it. It's the most expensive and important part of your car. A lot of habits people bring over from gas cars or even from their smartphones can actually be hurting your EV battery in the long run, reducing capacity and lifespan. So today, we're going to cut through the noise. This is going to be a quick six-minute crash course on the five biggest battery killers. We're busting some common myths and giving you simple, practical fixes that will help you preserve your car's range and value for years to come. This isn't about being paranoid, it's about being smart and informed. We're breaking it down with clear, actionable advice made for YouTube, quick visual tips for 16x9. We'll look at charging habits, climate control, and even software updates. By the end of this, you'll have a solid playbook for keeping your battery in peak condition. Alright, enough talk, let's get into it. Alright, first up is a big one, it's a habit we all have from our phones, charging to 100% all the time. The myth, a full charge is always the best charge. You think you need to top off every night to be ready. It feels right, doesn't it? Maximum range equal sign peace of mind. But routinely charging to 100% stresses the lithium ion cells. Think of it like stretching a rubber band to its absolute limit. High states of charge, especially above 90%, accelerate chemical degradation. The fix is simple and built into most EVs. For daily driving, you don't need 100%. Go to your car's charging settings and set a daily charge limit. Aim for 80% to 90%. This is the easiest way to extend battery health. It drastically reduces stress across thousands of cycles. For the average commute, 80% is more than enough. If your EV has a 300-mile range, that's 240 miles every morning, charge to 100% only when you actually need it. Reserve full charges for long road trips. The night before a big trip, set it to 100%. For 99% of driving, stick to 80-90%. Your future self and your car's resale value will thank you. This habit is probably the single most impactful change you can make. On the opposite end of the spectrum is the habit of letting your battery run all the way down to 0%. The myth here is that deep cycling is fine, maybe even good for the battery. Kind of like how you might run a gas tank until the fuel light comes on. People think, it's a car, it's meant to be driven until it's empty and then refilled. This is a dangerous holdover from the internal combustion world. Frequently running your EV battery to 0% can cause irreversible damage. A very high state of charge is stressful. A very low state of charge, especially below 10%, is also incredibly hard on the battery's chemistry. It can lead to a more rapid decline in its total capacity, meaning your maximum range will permanently decrease faster than it should. Think of it this way. The battery management system or BMS is constantly working to protect the cells. When the state of charge gets critically low, the BMS has to work overtime to prevent cell damage. If you leave it at 0% for an extended period, you even risk bricking the battery. It may no longer accept a charge. It's an extreme case, but it's possible. So, the fix is pretty intuitive. Just don't do it. Treat 20% as your new empty. When your battery level drops to around 20%, that's your cue to start thinking about plugging in. This gives you a massive buffer, prevents range anxiety, keeps the battery operating in a much healthier state. It's about avoiding those extremes on both ends of the charging spectrum. Most EVs have settings you can use to your advantage here. They'll give you low battery warnings well before you hit a critical level. Pay attention to them. Some cars even have a reserve mode or turtle mode that kicks in at very low percentages, limiting power to protect the battery and get you to a charger. Don't make a habit of relying on this feature. It's an emergency measure. The key takeaway is to avoid deliberate deep discharges. Chapter 3. Now let's talk about charging speed. DC fast chargers are one of the best things about modern EVs. Pulling up to a 250 kilowatt station and adding 150 miles of range in 15 minutes feels like magic. The myth that's emerged is that this magic is harmless and you can use it all the time. If it's faster, why not use it for all your charging needs? But here's the reality. Check. Frequent repeated use of high-power DC fast charging generates a lot of heat. Heat is the number one enemy of battery health. While your car's thermal management system is designed to handle this, subjecting the battery to that kind of thermal and electrical stress on a daily basis will accelerate degradation. It's a simple matter of physics. Think of it like eating. A home-cooked meal is your level 2 charger, nourishing gentle sustainable for everyday life. A DC fast charger is like slamming three energy drinks. It gets the job done quickly when you're in a rush, but you wouldn't want to live on it. 
It's a tool for a specific job, and that job is long distance travel. The fix is to use the right tool for the right job. For your regular overnight charging at home or during the day at work, a level two charger is your best friend. It's slower, yes, but it's also much gentler on your battery. It generates far less heat and allows the battery to charge in a relaxed, controlled manner, which is ideal for long-term health. So, the strategy is clear. Make level two your default. Install one at home if you can. It's the single best upgrade for any EV owner. Use public level two chargers when you're out and about and save those powerful DC fast chargers, like the ones from Electrify America or the Tesla Supercharger Network, for when you're on a road trip and need to get back on the road quickly. Using fast chargers occasionally won't hurt your battery. The systems are designed for it. The problem is over-reliance. If you live in an apartment and your only option is a nearby DC fast charger, try not to charge there every single day if you can help it. Prioritizing slower charging whenever possible is a key part of a smart battery maintenance strategy. Chapter 4. Next up is something that affects every car but especially EVs, the weather. The myth is that your high-tech EV is immune to the elements that the battery is sealed away and doesn't mind extreme temperatures. People leave their cars sitting in the scorching sun or freezing cold. The truth, the battery pack is a complex chemical system and it's highly sensitive to temperature. Extreme heat accelerates cell degradation even when the car is parked and turned off. Baking your car in a 100-degree lot equals premature battery aging. Extreme cold rarely causes permanent damage but it slashes daily usability. Cold cuts battery efficiency and available range can plummet. Cold also slows charging speeds, especially DC fast charging. So the fix has two parts, smart parking and preconditioning. Whenever possible, park in the shade on hot days or in a garage during extreme heat or cold. This reduces the thermal management system's workload and lowers passive wear and tear. Preconditioning. Many EVs let you precondition the cabin and the battery before you drive. Use your car's app to warm up the interior or cool down the interior for 15-20 minutes while still plugged in. You're using power from the wall, not your battery. The battery reaches optimal operating temperature before you unplug. You start driving with full available range and a comfortable cabin. You can schedule this automatically every morning. It's a massive win for comfort and efficiency. Treat your EV like sensitive tech, not a simple metal box, and you'll protect range and battery health. Chapter five. Finally, let's talk about the myth of the set it and forget it EV. The idea is that because there are no oil changes or engine maintenance, you can just drive the car and ignore everything else. While EVs are mechanically much simpler, they are also sophisticated computers on wheels. Ignoring their software and basic maintenance can kill your battery's efficiency. Your EV is constantly improved via over-the-air updates. These firmware updates are critical. They often include significant improvements to the battery management system charging algorithms and overall powertrain efficiency. Ignoring updates is like refusing to update your smartphone. You're leaving performance features and safety improvements on the table. Updates can change how your battery is charged, discharged and managed for temperature, all crucial for long-term health. A simple update can unlock more range or faster charging. Manufacturers keep refining, you benefit by staying current. Install updates as soon as they're available. Set your car to auto-download and install if possible. But it's not just software. Basic old-school maintenance still matters. Tire pressure, wheel alignment, and how much heavy cargo you carry can all hit efficiency. Underinflated tires increase rolling resistance and force the motor to work harder. That puts extra strain on the battery over time. Bad alignment does the same. Regularly check your tire pressure, it's one of the easiest ways to maximize range. And finally, your driving style matters. Aggressive acceleration hard braking are less efficient than smooth inputs. Most EVs have regenerative braking, but smooth driving is still king. Adopt a smoother driving style, keep up with software updates and mind your tires to get the most out of your battery for the long haul. Outro. So there you have it. Five of the most common and most avoidable EV battery killers. It really boils down to treating your battery with a little bit of care. Avoid charging to 100% for daily use. Avoid letting it drop to 0%. Prioritize slower level 2 charging. Protect the car from extreme temperatures. Stay on top of software updates and basic maintenance. 5 Key Takeaways None of these things are difficult. Together, they make a huge difference to range, performance, and resale value. This isn't about babying your car. It's the opposite. Understand how the tech works, use it more intelligently, and with more confidence, and you'll be maximizing battery lifespan.
This was just a quick 6 minute guide, wanna dive deeper? I've put links to sources and more detailed charging tips in the description below. It's an exciting time to own an EV, with the right habits, enjoy it for many years to come. Make the technology work for you not the other way around. If this helped, hit like, subscribe and share. More EV myths busted every week. Questions? Drop them in the comments, I read as many as I can. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.